Hello everybody, Root Beer here with question 21 on the 2004 Fairmac contest. Bill and Jill are hired to paint a line on the on a road. If Bill works by himself, he could paint the line in B hours, B for Bill. If Jill works by herself, she could paint the line in J hours, J for Jill. Bill starts painting the line from one end, and Jill starts painting the line from the other end one hour later. Okay. If they both work until the line is painted, which of the following is an expression for the number of hours that Bill works? Okay, the number of hours that Bill works. Bill starts an hour before Jill. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we don't know how long this road is, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, but I think to, to maybe simplify and visualize these things, I'm going to give uh, a length to the... First, I'm going to get a separate piece of paper, but I'm going to give a length to the line. It doesn't really matter what it is, uh, I don't think, because you could just say it's one length, but uh, I'm just going to say it's, it's L, distance L. Okay, so uh, that means Bill paints at a rate uh, well, he could do this whole thing in B hours. So let's say this is L meters. L meters per B hours. So L over B. And that means Jill paints at a rate of L over J. So that would be meters per hour. Okay, so Bill starts painting by himself for an hour. After one hour... Bill has painted L over B meters, because you just multiply this by one hour. And that leaves L minus L over B meters for Bill and Jill to paint together. And if they're both painting, that would work at a, at a combined rate of L over B meters per hour plus L over J meters per hour. Okay. So the number of hours, we want the number of hours Bill worked. All right, number of hours that Bill works. That's equal to 1, because he had sort of, so, so he painted for 1 hour. And then plus the number of hours it takes to complete the remaining amount. So this is the remaining amount of line that needs to be painted, divided by the combined work rate. Okay. So it remains for us to just sort of clear the clean this up. Uh, I think, just as I predicted, the L doesn't matter. We're going to take an L out of both the top and bottom. And those should cancel out. All right. And now... What sort of form do they have their answer in? So they've got like B plus J's on the bottom. It might be a good idea for us to get B plus J on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply top and bottom by BJ. And this one will become uh, B plus J over B plus J. And then we'll have 1 minus 1 over B times BJ. All over... 1 over B 
plus 1 over j, bj. So I chose bj because the b and the b will cancel out and leave a j, and the j and the j will cancel out and leave a b. We'll be left with j plus b or b plus j on the bottom. All right. So we've got, we can start bringing this in together now. We have the b plus j from the 1. We'll have b plus j on the bottom. And then we had 1 times b plus j minus 1 over b times bj. So 1 times, 1 times b times j minus 1 over b times bj. That's going to be j. And now these j's will cancel out. And we're left with B plus BJ all over B plus J. Is that one of the possibilities? Uh, not quite, but if we factor out the B, we will get 1 plus J all over B plus J. And I think that is A. Yes. Okay, uh, so that was that was involved, but I mean it, it was you know it was not the most comfortable thing just because there were no numbers, no numbers at all. Okay, we I mean we could have started by saying let L just be one for one unit of of road length, but you know we had that L in there. It did eventually pop out, so it didn't matter. And uh, you know if you didn't make that connection then that could have been a problem for you because you could have said, there's no way I can do this. I don't know how long the line is. If you don't know how long something is, put it in as a variable. You'll either solve for it later or it will factor out uh, or you misread the question. Uh, so the L's did eventually pop out and cancel out and the L didn't matter. But there was just this B and this J. We had no idea what anything, any of these actual values were the whole time. And it really didn't matter in the end. Uh, uh, but it can still be off-putting. That said... There was not a moment that I felt that I particularly lost flow with that question. You know, I understand my distance, time, and speed relationships. So that immediately told me, well, if, if L is the length of the road, it takes B hours, that tells me how, how quickly B, Bill paints, how quickly Jill paints, how quickly they paint together. After one hour, I can quickly figure out how much Bill has done and then how much is left. Divide that by their combined work rate. We get the hours that they work together plus one hour for Bill simplify, and eventually we got to A. It was a very, I, I think it was very well orchestrated, uh, this question. Even if it could be a little bit confusing and scary, it actually wasn't that bad. It was just, do you understand the distance, uh, speed, time relationships? Uh, you know, distance over speed is time, distance over time is speed, speed times time is distance, do you understand those? And can you just sort of suck it up and not be afraid of the variables that don't ever get equal to actual numbers. That's interesting. Uh, so what have we got? Question 22 is up next, and that will be in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Feel free to like or subscribe or leave a comment, whatever you're comfortable doing, if you want to do any of that sort of stuff. And I'll just see you guys in the next video.